Okay, hi everyone. This is our screencast on dispersion of light. Um, and we're going to talk about dispersion, which is really the splitting <coughs> of white light into the rainbow. Um, and you can see that very nicely with a prism. So if you shine white light, which is you know either either sunlight or um, or, or light from a, from a torch, we call that white light. Uh, and it, as it goes through the prism, it it um, refracts and disperses into the various colours. And you can see this in a side-on view here. The white light's coming in, and then as it as it refracts, um, the colours separate that make up that white light into all the colours of the rainbow. And I find a way, to, a good way to remember this, um, which which um, the direction of each is blue is the bendiest. In other words. Um, the blue in the white light bends the most as it goes both from air to glass and then glass to air and ends up um, bending down uh, at the bottom of the rainbow. Okay, And if you need to remember those, you need to remember Mr. Roy, what's his name, Mr. Roy G. Biv, there he is, uh, red for, R for red, O for orange, Y for yellow, G for green, B for blue, I for indigo, and V for violet. Okay, and they're the colours of the rainbow, and in that order. Okay. Now, actually, rainbows happen in the sky. They don't happen in in glass prisms, and they happen. It's the same process, though, that you have um, the white light entering, going from air, and this time not to glass but to water, and it um, refracts and disperses within the water and then there's some total internal reflection as well and it, and it emerges okay so in the primary rainbow the first rainbow you see um, looking through a, a number of drops of light uh, you see uh, the rainbow going from red uh, down to blue and beyond okay now if, the, if the light's strong enough you'll actually also see a secondary rainbow which is when it refracts and then reflects um, more than once within each raindrop. And often you'll see that around the primary rainbow. And the way you can tell is that the colours are upside down. Okay, So you see the primary with the, with the red at the top, and then you'll see the secondary uh, nearby, which has got the blue or the, or the, um, the violet at the top. Okay, and that's a secondary rainbow. Now, um, a similar kind of principle is called scattering. And this is when light is dispersed um, not by glass or by drops of, of water, but by actually gas molecules and also dust, dust particles in the atmosphere. So it happens as light's traveling through the atmosphere. And this is, um, this is, uh, gives rise to the color of our sky, which is blue, as well as the, um, the light that's when, that's when the sun's low on the horizon, which is the sunrise or sunset. Um, and here's a really nice experiment you can try at home. You need a bucket of water, okay, quite a large square trough um, here. And, oops, so a large trough of water, uh, and it, you can shine a torch through it, okay? So we're shining a torch from this left-hand side through the water. You can actually see the light beam on the left uh, a, a little bit, and you can see a bit of it travelling through the water there, okay? But um, you can't see too much of it. And if you look at the look at the trough from the end on, from the right-hand side, so from, you know, you put your eye over this side of the trough and look back at the torch, so here, that's what we're doing here. Um, you can pretty much see the torchlight quite strongly. Okay, that's water. I'm just looking through water, really. And what you do to simulate the gas particles is you add about a cup of milk. Okay, so that just gives, makes it a bit sort of cloudy. And and then what happens? So you shine the torch through, and this is really interesting. Okay, you've got the you've got the torch, and you're looking at it from above. Now this um, area here, where the torch is heating the water, and you're looking from directly down actually has a bit of a bluish tinge okay it's um, compared to the, the without the milk the milk is sort of the, the lights hitting uh, the milk and scattering okay basically basically dispersing but the blue light of course is the bendiest remember that and it's going to scatter every time it's every time it hits a particle it, it bends all the time so it's it's going every which way and and that's what happens when we look up in the sky. Uh, imagine this bucket now up over our heads and we're looking up at it. That's the sky and 
we're seeing basically the blue light that comes through bouncing all over the place and filling up our, our vision of the sky and, and, and reaching our eyes. Okay, but then when you go around this far side of the bucket and you look at the light end on, it's got quite an orange red tint. And that's what happens when the sun is low on the horizon and basically has got a lot more atmosphere to travel through before it gets to our eyes. Um, and you can sort of see that a little bit at the end here. It's a little bit reddish, but it's much more obvious when you look directly through all the atmosphere. And, um, and, uh, and, and so the red light doesn't get bent, doesn't bend anywhere as much as the blue, and so it tends to travel in a straight line. So the one you actually see that's travelled pretty much in a straight line from that torch, or the setting sun, is looking red. Um, but the people over the horizon, closer to where the torch is, are seeing uh, blue above them. Okay, and that explains the scattering is the principle that gives us that difference. Alright, well that's the end of that uh, session. See you.